Wait, I don't think I should hold it. No, no, just unlock it so I can. Oh, yeah. um, you just slide it up. And oh. Okay. Thanks. All right. Are we ready, Clive? Yes. Yeah, sure. <coughs> okay. So, silence, everyone. It's fine. Okay. So, for the record, uh, please tell us your name and what you do. My name is Alex Herman. I come from the Cook Islands. I am currently Crown Counsel in the Crown Law Office. Oh, that's a big job. Mm. Mm. So tell me about the experience. You were here in 2014? Yes, I came here in time for the July session uh, in 2014. Uh, I spent a bit of time uh, with the Secretariat and we were able to um, attend the LTC meetings which happen leading up to the Council and Assembly sessions. Uh, so it was really interesting for me because at the time I had uh, just recently come out of university and I was building my experience in, in Law of the Sea. So to be able to come to the ISA and uh, immerse myself in that environment, um, that was my first sort of international, intergovernmental organisation that I ever got to see the inner workings of. Uh, that was a really interesting experience for me. Mm, what excites you about Law of the Sea? Well, coming from the Cook Islands, uh, which is a, we like to call ourselves a large ocean state, um, the ocean is a huge part of our, our DNA. Um, we are ocean people, so naturally for me, when I was studying in law school, uh, law of the sea was my interest, um, was, was interesting for me, uh, just because it's so important to the Cook Islands and to Pacific people. So. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so going forward, how would you like to use your own knowledge, your learning, and the experience garnered here at the ISA and you know, doing all this stuff to advance the Cook Islands and the Oceana's mm. interest in, in the whole seabed matter? Well, that's a that's a big question. Uh, and you know, I'll start off by saying that um, the issues involved with law of the sea, I mean, even if you're looking at seabed, it, are quite huge. Uh, but I like to think that I can contribute in some small way, um, even if it's in my own country, in the Cook Islands, um, but then also in the regional and international settings. So it was very uh, useful for me to be able to engage or to participate in this internship uh, at the ISA at that international level because you do um, when you're looking at seabed minerals and its management, you've got to look at the macro, the global level, and that's done at the ISA. Um, so once you understand how things operate at the global level, then it can help you filter down through to the regional, then national, which is the Cook Islands. So it's, it's very, it was very useful for me um, seeing how the laws are made here at the international level because that then guides uh, the work that we do in the Cook Islands because at the moment um, we, we're working and developing on our um, legislative framework. Mm. So you were a trainee in 2014, you're a delegate at the conference now? I am indeed, yes. Oh. Well, how, is that? How, how does that make you feel? <laughs> well, it's, um, there was a bit of nostalgia. Uh, when I first came to the ISA in 2014, it was the 20th celebrations. Um, this year it's the 25th celebration, so, so I was here five years ago. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's nice to see the familiar faces again and to see sort of, you know, some of the changes. Um, but also good to see the development and the progress that's been made. Um, when I compare to where things were in 2014 to where they are now, there's been quite a lot that's happened um, uh, in, in, in a good way. Um, I see under the, the SG, he's um, keen to continue to progress our frameworks um, or the international frameworks and it's, it's good to see that. So finally, uh, when you think of Oceania and the Cook Islands and the prospects moving forward uh, in the next you know, it's being said that in the next 10 years we'll be actively mining from the ocean field. Uh, what's the conversation like in Oceania about that? And what's the sort of position of a uh, Pacific Islander? I love that, I love that, that term. That is 
scripture? Well, for the Pacific, because the ocean is, is such an, a huge part of our lives, and this goes beyond economic benefits, this is social, cultural connections to the ocean, um, many people want to know what are we doing as, in terms of the environment. Um, are we, you know, are we following best practices? Um, what can we do to ensure that the the impacts that um, that seabed mining activities are going to have can be managed um, um, properly and and minimised? Um, because we're not just talking about our current generation; we're talking about future generations. So, from a Pacific Island perspective, um, it's important that we get things right. So, I see the progress that's happening um, in the ISA now as far as our exploitation regulations and I think we all share that sense of we need to get this right. Um, so if we can set the foundations, um, set it on solid foundations and, and move from there and have a framework um, that's, that's flexible enough to be able to adapt to these again unknowns that, um, that may come up with seabed mining then um, I think we're, we're positioning ourselves as best as we can. Um, so I guess the message that, I, that I'm trying to say is, is um, let's, let's get things right. Let's put in um, robust systems and frameworks um, because you know, what we're venturing into is, is still a great unknown. I hope that was very well said, Alex. I saw the diplomacy, I saw the legal skills, I saw the, the, the passion. So, finally, I'm going to ask you to look to camera, not to me anymore. Oh no, I don't like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the two cameras you want her to look to, this one, mm -hmm. this one in the middle. Yep. And I want you to express a wish, a thought for the ISA at 25. Um, you know, happy anniversary, you can start off like that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Happy anniversary, this is 25 years since the ISA has been established. Uh, and let's hope for 25 more excellent years uh, to, to build a greater future for um, current and future generations.